Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to show you today how to make mercury glass. So quick, so easy, and I'm doing it for another project, so I figure why not show you how I'm doing it. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is pick your piece of glass that you're going to use. I'm gonna use a mason jar, and you'll see in the other project why I'm using this. The next, I picked this color specifically for this next project, but pick a shiny metallic spray paint. The mirror finish is the best, but you can use a chrome or a gold or whatever color you wanna use. Next, you've got your vinegar. Any white vinegar. And then you have a spray bottle and you fill it with a little water and then you're gonna fill with matching amount of vinegar. And then paper towels. Super easy, not much to do, and it's a great outcome. So we're gonna get going. I picked this specific color for who I'm making this for. So you're gonna start off by, well, shaking it. So I did a pretty good amount of shaking for him. Also, I'm gonna add my vinegar to my water. I like to do one in one. So one part water, one part vinegar. You don't need much. I might need to make more, I don't know. There, get it to there. All right, one part water, two parts vinegar. Some people use one and one, We're kind of somewhere in the middle, maybe. So, I want to spray it down. So, you're going to start with your water and vinegar solution, and you're going to give it a spritz. You don't want it doused, you just kind of want it to have some bubbles on it. Once you have bubbles on it, you're gonna take your spray paint, quick light layers. You're gonna do multiple coats so you get, don't worry too much about it. All right, so now that you have that on, you can see the droplets of water. You're gonna take your paper towel and you are going to blot it. Don't wipe it, just blot. And it's going to make those bubbles in the glass. So once you've got most of your bubbles out, it doesn't matter too much because you're gonna be doing this again, but it just gives it a cool effect. So first coat's done. It's got a little bit of the bubbles going. We're gonna do one more. You can do as many coats as you want, depending on how thick the paint you want. If you wanna see through it, if you don't wanna see through it, you can do it the inside, you can do it the outside. I'm doing it on the outside because of what I'm doing with it in my next project. And I am jar hand apparently now. <laughs> so it's a little difficult to see when it's clear. So I just stuffed my hoodie in here. So you can kind of see the desired effect that this uh, technique has on me. You can use this as the start of any craft, which is why it's so fun and so versatile. I'm going to use mine to plant in. So stay tuned to check out my next episode where I turn this into an herb garden. Oh, and this is my helper. Well, usually sits in the way, but moral support, right? 